Welcome back to Bannerlord and Astrid's journey to become the most powerful and most competent cavalry commander of the Sturgeon Empire in Calradia. Nay, maybe even the most powerful commander of cavalry in all of Calradia. So when we last left off, we just killed some bandits, and we're going to keep doing that. Mostly looters, not bandits. Same difference, really. Um going to keep moving on that i'm going to double check that the sound is good and there we go and let's keep going so we're going to tag these five looters and again we're just it's just the grind you kill some looters you sell their crap you sell them possibly rinse and repeat build up that renown build up that money enter or die brigand Mm -hmm. And we're going to attack. We could auto-resolve. We probably wouldn't lose any troops doing it. It's more fun to play it out, though, because I'm working on my archery skills. Yeah! Go ahead and leave our troops there. Again, uh, what I mentioned before, which is a good improvement for Warband, you can double-tap W and just hold it, and then you go out full speed. You don't have to, like, mash W like a billion times anymore, which is good. So we're going to go ahead and do something like this and miss horribly. Horse, um, horse archery is not something I'm super good at, but uh, is very strong in this game. Um, go ahead and have our troops uh, charge these last few guys. So, horse archery is really good. Sadly, the troops we will have will not be horse archers, they will be skirmishers. Um, I possibly already showed that, but uh, basically they're going to have, I think, swords? Um... We can double check here. Okay, we did have we have one looter we can take prisoner, it looks like. Don't look getting a lot of renown. This is a smaller group, that's just how that's going to be. Or we are getting more stuff to sell, which is good. If we go ahead and we look at the encyclopedia, we're gonna be coming down here to the horse raiders here. And um from what it can tell, I can't rotate this guy. From what you can tell it looks like um like a short sword, possibly a shield in their left hand, and then thrown javelins, it looks like. These will be our bread and butter. Um, unfortunately, Sturgeon troops, you do not get horse archers. The closest you can get if you want horse archers is if you come over here. Well, close. You come over here to the troops um, for these uh, gentlemen, the uh, Kuzites, Kuzites, Kyrgyzstan, Kur whatever those people they have horse archers um i guess if we feel the need to branch out we can branch out and grab some of those but that just that just it doesn't feel quite right you know we're we're nords we want the sturgeon recruits you know astrid here she she wants to prove herself as a leader of her people specifically her cavalry type people so that's uh primarily what we're going to be doing tracking down the Darn looters near the coastline this time. Spend a die, brigand. Will we get an interesting coastline map? That would be cool. Yeah! Um, no, we got a village map because we're close enough to that village. Okay, so we're just gonna chill until they come towards us, which they will. If we hold alt, we can see. They are they're over there. Um, this tree cover is pretty bad for archery, not too good for cavalry. It would be really good for infantry, which fortunately our guys still are infantry. Sort of wait for them to come over this hill here. They are quite a ways out. Oh, there they are. Some shots on these guys. I can't aim that far, apparently. Oh, shit. Okay, have our uh, army charge here. Turn around. Uh, some shots in here. Hitting some friendlies, it looks like. And we already won. Pretty simple battle. We lost no one. They lost five. We're not getting a lot of renown from the smaller battles, but we are gaining some loot. And getting our guys some experience, which is something we definitely need. Uh, some more troops. Actually, let's just do that. We'll stay at 20 for now. 
leave some slots for heroes whenever you get around to it. Uh, come back up here to ooh, Sea Raiders. Now we can possibly take four Sea Raiders. There are only infantry. Probably leaves a decent amount, but we'll probably we'll probably get a decent amount of funds if we can take these guys down. Now we are going right past the Sea Raider hideout. Um, luckily they're not joining. So we are going to take these four Sea Raiders and hope it goes our way. Um, we have the overwhelming advantage. They did turn on us, which is interesting. I thought that perhaps since we were close enough, they might get um, reinforcements from the hideout, but it doesn't look like they will. Oh, nice open field too. All right, so we're going to play it relatively safe here. See if we can get some shots in on them. Okay, they do have throwing spears, it looks like. Okay, so we want to get our guys to charge immediately. Because otherwise we're just going to get picked off. Our guys don't really have any range. Only we have some ranged. Our range is crap because we're just bad at this game. Oh, okay, we got a Sea Raider. And looks like we didn't lose anyone. We got the Sea Raiders. I still have PTSD because of Sea Raiders and Warband. Very... They really wreck you. We didn't get too much more renown or morale from these Sea Raiders, so just, that's just how it is. We will get somewhat decent loot, ooh, including this helmet that we're definitely going to upgrade to. We already have a scarf. This armor is technically better, so we're going to go ahead and swap that out. And these shoes are not better. But we got what we can, and that's good. Let's go back over here. We have one prisoner we're going to sell. Uh, only for five gold, which is better than nothing. We're going to go into trade. Now, we still have some stuff locked. We're going to lock in grapes and dates because the more food variety we have, the better our morale will be. We're going to lock beer and cheese too. And the good thing about that is that it's going to increase our stewardship faster the more we have, the more food types we have each tick. The best part about that is that with more stewardship, we can support more troops. Well, not support. We won't be able to afford more troops, but we'll be able to uh, recruit more troops, which is really good. So I did realize I sold all that without checking the weapons. Um, hammer, sickle, nothing that we really want. So we're going to check this town for weapons and see what they got. Nothing we're really looking for. Possibly a shield. We could definitely use a shield. They don't have a shield. I want like a nice round shield, I think. Um, especially that will look really nice with our uh, custom banner. But we don't want to spend that much money on it. Kite shield would be okay. Um, the square shield probably wouldn't be bad as an initial offering for our shield. Armor wise, I think we're doing okay. That helmet drop is pretty good. The armor drop works. Obviously, we're going to want heavy armor sooner or later. Um, like something like this, but I don't think we can afford that right now. So we're going to go with that. We're going to get 400 gold out of it, which is pretty good. Uh, again, we're not going to recruit any more troops. 20 is sort of where we're going to leave it. It's a nice round number. That's 19 plus me. All right, let's keep upgrading. We have some more woodsmen. Uh, soon we'll have enough experience here, and we'll get our first couple brigands, which is one step before we actually get them to cavalry. They're basically the cavalry brigand, but without horses. So they're not cavalry, but they could be if they tried hard enough. That's where we're sort of working towards. All right, so we've done quite a bit around here. Um, there's no way we're going to be able to clear hideouts. I don't like the hideout mechanic. They copy over the same thing from Warband. If, if you have an army of 300, you only go in with five other people, and it's random in this one. Previously in Warband, whoever was at the top, which normally means you would drag your best soldiers to the top, would go in with you. In this game, apparently everyone's saying it's completely random. They did fix it, however, to where if you do have an army outside, you don't immediately get taken captive, so... You and your six people die, even though you have a 300 army, your army just doesn't disappear. Which is good. It's good they fixed that. Still don't like the hideout mechanics. I wish they were more like mini sieges, like a siege against a wood fort would sort of make them more interesting. We're going to start making our way. Basically, we're just going to start following the Sturgeon Empire off to the east here. Um, and sort of see how that plays out for us. Let's see if we can get these um, seven sea raiders. Um, they're trying to run from us. We're going to 
catch them right by these trees. Seven's a bit more than we fought previously, but we should be okay with how many we have. They stare at you judgingly. We're gonna hop into this battle. Oh yeah, there's a decent amount of them. We are definitely going to hold until they get closer. Um, and then charge them. If we had, I there's no way I'm gonna be able to hit them at this distance. Oh, I almost hit that guy. Okay, they're about to throw jabs, so we're going to start charging forward because I don't want my guys to just get picked off with javelins the whole time. That would definitely happen. Hello, sir. Nope. Ow. Fu that was painful. That's like half my health right there. Excuse me, sir. Ever heard about our Lord and Savior, um, Arrow? Got him. And it looks like we maybe lost one troop. Um, yeah, I'm just about. I wish we could capture these shields. Okay, we lost the two. If they're only wounded, they're not dead, so they'll be fine. They'll recover. Looks like we may have captured a couple Sea Raiders we can take. Well, good. You can, after a time, recruit them into your army. Um, Sea Raiders do come up. Be some cavalry. Their wage would be 11. What would uh, the wage of seven? They're going to be a more expensive cavalry. Maybe it's worth. Maybe it's worth getting them up. Um, we'll see. We'll keep the warrior. Maybe cost four. Cost two. I just don't think it's that worth it. It would be cool to have all sea raiders. Um, I could get some of these guys going. Maybe like as just a heavier troop, they have some lances. That might be a nice supplement later on. That might be something to think about later on when we already have some of our cavalry going. Supplement our guys with our swords and javelins with these sea raiders. That might not be a bad idea. We'd have some lancing. Still sort of fits what we're going for. So we'll keep that in mind as we're moving forward. Take all this gear, obviously. Again, two wounded, not too bad, two prisoners. Um, and we gained a level. I don't think we actually gained anything to assign, so we don't have to worry about that. As opposed to um, Warband, where you, every time you leveled up, I mean, you get some of these when you level, uh, but I'm not too worried about focusing things right now. Because I don't think we were not really bottlenecked on anything that we needed need them on. But in Warband, you'd level up your stats immediately, like strength, you know, dexterity, that, that sort of thing. I don't know if Dexterity was specifically one. But let's go ahead and sell them. I'm going to auto sell everything but the food we had. That will be good. Give us 400. Um, I think we're good on food. Yeah, we can get some shielding now. Possibly a better bow. Mm, I would like a shield without the large piece of metal in the center, just because it would look better with my... It would look better with my, um... Banner. Ooh, here's some weapons. That's just a straight two-handed. What I want is something that can be one or two-handed. And some of them are, like this lance can be one or two-handed. That's really what we're looking for. So we're looking for something that can be one or two-handed. Um, for our melee to get rid of this axe. Hunting bow, kind of shite. Doesn't look like we're really going to have anything to upgrade at this exact moment. Um, whew, those are nice looking gloves, but dang that price. Alright, we're just going to go with what we have. Slowly building up that money. Now 1.4k. So to become a vassal... Your clan, if you hit L here, you go into your clan, which is based off your name. Really just me. There's no one else in here because I don't have any um, hero companions. Otherwise, they would be listed here. Um, I'm merciful, honest, generous. Clan tier 0. To get to clan tier 1, you need to get to 50 renown. Obviously, as you see, we don't really have much going on here, but there will be more happening in here later. To check your progress towards clan tier 7, you can actually check this um, one story quest. This is the only one we're not going to ignore, really. 
So you get 2,000 Denaris. I don't know if that's required to actually grow clan size. Get to 20 men. We got that. And 50 renown. We're almost there. 32. And we have to hire one companion. Ah, I forgot about that. So, let's see. No companions here. Well, we're just going to leave it at that for now then. Um, let's come over here to Omor. We'll go up to Balgra Balgard. Um, Baranapool, Sibir. Barnova pool. Hmm, I think I said that. And then tile. We'll just sort of make our way up here and see what we can sort of find on the way. Don't think the Sturgeons are at war with anyone right now. Ah, we're at war with Vlandia. Um, okay, that's quite the distance. Hopefully they don't come up here and take some of this. Snowballing has been constantly worked on uh, in all of the patches. But I think we're going to ignore that for now because we can't really do much. Um, I don't want to chase these guys too far because I don't... Okay. Maybe we'll grab these 12 looters. Hopefully they don't run into these um, forest bandits. They will. Okay, we're going to divert. Our way over here to Omar. Okay, now we might be able to... Whoops, clicked on that castle. Go ahead and grab these 12 now. Ooh, they're outpacing us. What's their speed? 4.9. Our speed is 4.9. They're going just as fast as us. Unless they get crushed uh, on something or stopped by terrain, and we might not be able to catch these gentlemen. Looks like no. All right, so uh, let's see how we're doing on food. We still have some good grain. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. Go ahead and go down here to Ormar. We passed it because we were chasing some. Uh, Darn looters. See if we can find a companion we can grab. And that is part of growing our clan. If we get to clan tier one, we will be a mercenary here for Sturgio. And I think that will be good. That will at least give us some money if we we're helping them out with the war efforts. Um, no one here. That is sad. Let's go ahead and check what gear they have. Ooh. Uh, back sword. No, nothing. Hmm, one or two-handed spear, but we're not really working on pole arms here. Unfortunate. Ooh, that's a nice-looking shield. That we're not really going to be able to afford. Um, we can get this Norse round shield. That might work well. I think we'll be okay with what we have. Don't really have to worry too much about armor. Well... Instead of spending money on gear, we definitely need a companion as our primary thing uh, and getting renown on the way. So, do these learners down here, but I don't want to chase them for days. Start moving up here towards uh, Balgard. Oh, there's the 12 learners again. Maybe we can crush them. Oh, yep. See, they got stuck in between that, um, that town here in the forest and the coastline, which means we had the opportunity to smash up on them. I'm going to go ahead and attack them. We shouldn't have too much trouble. 12 looters. Rocks do hurt, but um, I'm not that worried about it. Can't wait till we have some more uh, calv. We can actually do some cavalry charges. You know, imagining that would be good. They're just running out. It's like fools. Some uh, shots on them here. Um, I went right over that guy. Right in front of that guy. And right over that guy again. Well, that just tells you how good at this I am. Alright, get them to charge in. If I can, uh, them out here with just some shots. I need to learn how to get better at those. Not doing too bad. Uh, that guy died before my arrow hit him. Okay. Whoops, hit a friendly. I'm sure it's fine. So we didn't lose anyone. They're all dead. I consider that progress. One prisoner. Good. Someone to sell. A bit of gear here. Nothing better than what we have. I mean, they're just looters. They're not really going to have any of that. All right. Let's go ahead and start moving up this way. Still have one wounded. Um, he's going to take a bit to recover. Way. We're losing 30 per tick, it's just our troops cost that much. That's how it is. More woodsmen. Let's go ahead and start getting some brigands. 
almost to the calf. Next to set. And they're going to be expensive. Normally I don't rush all the way down the trees. I'm not going to go all the way down to Raider right away. But, you know, this guy, the recruits cost one. So for every seven of them, I can afford one of these guys. Or for every one of these guys, I can afford seven recruits. Sometimes maybe it's better to have seven more people, just bodies filling up the area. But the cab will work pretty well as soon as we get them. It's going to cost us quite a bit in wages. The current wages is 32. They're just going to go up the more we start pulling these guys up the chain. So we can supplement that. We get enough money to buy a workshop that will give us some weekly income to actually supplement our troop prices here, our wages. And as a mercenary, you do get some mercenary money, but only if you're participating in battles. So if you battle, I think it has to be someone at war, I'm not entirely sure. If you battle someone you're at war with as a mercenary, uh, you get X amount of cash for that day for that battle. I think it's 30 or something. So if you do three battles in a day, I think you can get 120 for that day. I'm not entirely sure if looters count. We're not really going to be able to do too much on our own. We might tag along with someone else. Here's Austin Frostbeard. Austin. Let's see if this guy would care to join us. I think I saw some companions that cost like 1,500 to join. We can't quite afford that. Um, his parents died, his sister married. So he left for fun. Got it. Ooh, 1,200, that's a bit too much. We're gonna wanna find someone cheaper um, for our first companion. Being a, a bit picky, not too picky. I mean, we're going to need someone no matter what. But um, for a a, a little less picky, we can save some money, which we need to fund our troops right now. We're going to go ahead and kill these darn dirty uh, looters. We're going to kill them. Yeah! And it's snowing, which is cool. I want to see if I can get some axe hits on these guys. Let's try that out. They're just looters, so. Try and get our guys to charge here, and. Okay, I got hit with the rock, so I stopped holding back my axe. I don't have a shield, obviously. And we're slowed down because of the snow. Okay, let's switch back over to the bow here. And get some shots on. Shots on target. Alright. Axe that guy. Nope. Axe him now. Okay. The range of this axe is just so small, and I hit a friendly again. Damn it. Well, we didn't lose anyone. Caught them all, but we didn't get a lot of renown. It's a very slow grind. I think two got on the armor department. Ah, uh, a sword. Length of 71. I mean, that's better than our shitty axe. So we might use that just because it's better than our axe. I mean, that's just what it's come down to at this point. So we'll go ahead and swap that up. Alright, let's start moving up here towards these two cities. We don't really need to recruit more because we can only hold three more troops. One of them is going to be a hero, we know. And we really don't want to blow all of our money. Now, 22 lures we can probably take. I think that gamble is worth it. They're going to run away from us. Not too worried about it, though. Technically, they'll have more troops than us. Our troops are just a bit better, though. Especially because we have one tier 3 troop, like 7 or 8 tier 2, and the rest are just the shitty tier 1s, but I mean, what are you going to do? Forward! At least get up on the sill. Onwards! And there's absolutely no way I'm going to hit someone with that, but if I do, well, of course I don't. Here's the sword I have. A bit longer than the axe I had, so it'll be slightly easier to actually... It's someone on horseback. Okay, so I can really help my troops out by, you know, distracting as many of these gentlemen as I can. Um, without dying. 
Because if they're focused on me, they're not focused on my troops. So I can do that. Uh, break it up a bit. Okay. Slightly easier to hit with. I mean, it's I can actually consistently hit a bit. That guy. Uh, I don't think we've lost anyone still. I know a lot of enemies just ran off this way. I like, I like this map. It's a snowy map with the cliffs overlooking the water. I like that. It's nice and um, atmospheric. Yep, there's some enemies running away down here. Let's see if we can do anything about that before they get off the battle. And um, horse, oh, our horse archery skill, whatever that may be under, horsing or archery, is uh, kind of shite. So we can't really do too much when we're actually moving. If we slow down, we're more accurate, but then they might get away. So we're just gonna... They may not escape us. Oh, they're gonna get away. No! Get them! Well, we tried. Nice little beach right here. We lost none. They lost, well, everyone. Three got away. Curse those three. Capture those five looters. That's good. Uh, oh, they had quite a bit of stuff, including some meat, different armors, but yeah, that'll be fine. And those are the four that got away. Well, I think uh, we're going to leave this part at here for now. We're going to continue on, however, going up and down our area here in Sturgia, finding another companion in the next episode. Hopefully in the next episode, we'll be able to get to our renown level to get to a tier one. And then we can join up as a mercenary. Um, I'll make it a point, I think, to do one of those at least in the next episode. Maybe skip some of the grinding, um, the looters, just depending on how long that takes. We'll, we'll sort of see how it goes. As soon as we join as a mercenary, things will be more interesting. We'll be involved in the war that's going on with, I think we're still at War with Vladia right now. Even though we might get captured and die horribly, and that might be the end of the campaign. We'll sort of see how it goes, but I'm enjoying it. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.